Today in the Daily Dose, the Lend-Lease Act of 1941. In the decades following the First World War, many Americans remained extremely wary of becoming involved in any costly international conflicts, preferring a policy of isolationism from outside world events. But after Germany invaded Poland in 1939, the first step in the Nazis' blitzkrieg sweep across Europe, President Franklin D. Roosevelt declared that while the United States would remain neutral by law, it was impossible that every American remain neutral in thought as well. Before passage of the Neutrality Act of 1939, Roosevelt persuaded Congress to allow the sale of military supplies to allies, like France and Britain, on a cash-and-carry basis, which meant that they paid cash for American-made supplies before transporting their purchases across the Atlantic on their own ships. By the summer of 1940, France had fallen to the Nazis, leaving Britain to fight virtually alone against the Hun, both on land, sea, and in the air. After the new British Prime Minister Winston Churchill appealed personally to Roosevelt for help, FDR agreed to exchange more than 50 outdated American destroyers for 99-year leases on British bases in the Caribbean and Newfoundland, which would also be used as U.S. air and naval facilities. In mid-December 1940, Roosevelt introduced a new policy initiative whereby the United States would lend rather than sell military supplies to Great Britain for use in the fight against Nazi aggression. Payment for the supplies would be deferred, while repayment could come in any form Roosevelt deemed acceptable. We must be the great arsenal of democracy. Despite heavy opposition among isolationist legislators, in March of 1941, Congress passed the Lend-Lease Act and Roosevelt quickly signed it into law. Six months later, America would formally enter World War II after Japan's unprovoked attack on Pearl Harbor, instantly and forever, removing the notion of isolationism from the American political landscape. And there you have it, the Lend-Lease Act of 1941. Today in the Daily Dose, get your nerd on with the Daily Dose and learn something new every day. Subscribe to The Daily Dose on YouTube or sign up for emails at dailydosenow.com.